Hey, what's going on? You got it with guys to the channel. Your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today we got one from My Hero Academia episode 81, which is pretty much sets up like these current arc that's probably going to carry on us, carry us out through like the final episodes of the season, which is a school festival arc. Reason I know that because I saw it online. This <laughs> is how you can see it from like the, the intro, which still has some cool quite got your boy yet. The opening thing hasn't got your boy yet because usually it takes me a while to get into the new things. This one, I particularly didn't like when it came out anyway, but like it, it's coming along. Nonetheless, episode pretty much starts out with Mr. Isaiah telling the students that hey, we have a school festival. This is not a sports festival. It's only for the people in the school because hey, we still have to do stuff like that. And this is more for the, the the other the, the other students you know who don't always get the time to shine and everything you know this is uh, the sports festival are usually for the the people who are going to become heroes or you know so it needs to focus on everyone else you know for for once and the thing about it this I'm uh, not apologize oh but i'm trying to make sure i got the uh there's the support courses the general studies and the business course you know that this is usually more for them because they they need something like to like, take the edge off as well they pretty or they just pretty much kind of be stressed out about this as well because this is like their big thing nonetheless uh oh shit uh damn what was that threw me off uh, definitely gonna edit this part out. Find it, find it, find it. <laughs> got it, got it. Surprisingly enough, it seems like the everybody in the class was like super excited to do this, which is not something you you usually expect. Usually, you you have a few who like, oh yeah, this is cool. But for the majority, everybody in the class was pretty much like ready to to to, to be well, pretty much involved and like happy to be doing this. Everybody gave their uh, opinions on what they should do. And they all fit with their characteristics. Like Deku wanted to have a hero quiz, and and Shoto wanted some some Sabo, some Sabo, uh, and uh, Bakugo wanted a death match. I don't know, man. I, Bakugo gonna mess around and kill somebody for real. But eventually. They couldn't really come to an agreement, so later on, they all gathered together and they're like, what, what, we, what can we do that'll just work for everybody? And so they're gonna combine a dance with like pretty much like a concert, given the fact that uh, Gy Gyro is pretty good at music, and uh, Acid Girl, I can't think of her name right now for the life of me, is good at dancing, and she pretty much taught Ayama how to dance within a day because what him, the stuff him and Deku was doing at the beginning of this episode is absolutely abysmal, okay? It was terrible, just just terrible. So that's what they're gonna do. And I think, like I said, I think you said it in like the intro of the of the show, which leads to that's going to come down later on down the road. But the next part of the episode is Deku and uh, Lumillion going to see Eric because she wants to see them because she hasn't been able to really see anybody. She had this fever and everything. She's kind of been pretty much, pretty much been quarantined for a while well, since like the, the events with uh, overhaul and everything happened because we all know how a quirk works. But the horn on her is like slowly shrinking. I'm kind of wondering if that quirk, if it goes completely down, what does that mean? Or like, will it grow again as she gets older? Or will another horn appear on the other side? I, I, I really, I'm still in, really interested to see where that goes with Eric. I don't think it's gone. I think where it's at now is kind of like, pretty much like the highlight. This is going to be like the highlight of that whole thing. And she probably might just pop in and up every now and then. But I don't even think, to my knowledge, of people who 
Well, I haven't seen anything about her in the uh, in the in the manga as well. Granted, I don't read the manga, but usually you always see something that just pop up, and you know, say like, "Oh, that's in interesting." I try to avoid those things at all costs, but you can't afford. It. This is this is twenty twenty. You can't pretty much afford anything nowadays. Nonetheless, but they go to talk to her, and they're trying to make her feel better because she's still sad. She feels like she's at fault for everything. They still haven't told her about night out being. Uh, 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 dead, which is not something you want to put on the little girl right now, considering the fact that she's still kind of traumatized and, and scarred. But what Lemillion and Deku do uh, a really good job at is comforting her and like letting her know, like, hey, man, we just want to see you smile. And this, this is the craziest part. She doesn't know how to smile. She's that, tr like, she has she got some serious PTSD okay like uh, even though the battle is over and, and it has been worn she got some PTSD because she can't she tried to she tried to pull a joke and make herself smile and it still didn't work so Deku came with the bright idea hey let's invite her to a sports festival maybe this you know is able to put a smile on her face hopefully it does because uh, I'm pretty sure Mr. Azawa would be there to, to watch her just in case her power, you know what I'm saying, flare up. Because that's pretty much what kind of happened. So I was excited to see that. End of the episode, we get introduced to, I'm pretty sure is going to be the final villain of this season. Which is, his name is Gentle. The viral, the viral, he's a YouTube vlogger villain. That's what, the viral video uh, villain. That's what I'm going to call him. The viral video uh, villain. Because he pretty much has a YouTube channel and he vlogs himself doing crimes. And he's a, calling himself gentle. He wants to be famous. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Probably got an IG or like taking pictures with other villains and stuff. I'm chilling with my boy Sugar Rock. I can picture it. Like, it's, it's crazy. And there's a little assistant, La Brava, who pretty much holds the camera. What was funny is that he was robbing the store. First of all, I don't know how this convenience store got all this money in there. Sorry, that must be the hottest convenience store in Japan. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, two heroes show up. He's like, oh, this is nothing. I'm pretty sure he was going to record that one. And then more so, they'd be like, hey, cut the camera real quick. I got to handle this for real. So I'm thinking he's he probably got a temper and he doesn't want to show the temper on camera. Nonetheless, uh... My bad, I did it again. Like, I was talking and then I just kind of, like, drifted away. Uh, <laughs> I think he he's going to, like, snap and we get to see, like, exactly. Because we don't know his quirk right now. We don't really know too much about it. We just know that he's been doing robberies and, and villainous acts and been putting them on social media. Which is... I mean, it works for the times, 100%. I went, like, if... I, I've seen... I think we all know criminals. I don't think I'm going to say no criminal. We've seen criminals do stuff on camera just for, like, attention. So, this this is not too surprising at all. This all falls in that realm. Excited to see what goes on with him because I want to know his quirk. And I think a lot of people I've seen online say, like, he's... When they said this arc was going to introduce two of the, their favorite villains... Of the entire series, I don't know if that meant him and La Brava, or it's him and somebody else. But I'm excited to see it either way. Uh, you guys hit enough stuff about this episode down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.